सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ टी सी एस एन क्यू टी डी एस ए कोडिंग प्ले लिस्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम ऑन टी सी एस एन क्यू टी बेस्ड ऑन एरे सो लेट्स ट्राई टू फिगर इट आउट वट डज एग्जैक्टली क्वेश्चन सेज सो वी हैव गिवन एन एरे वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट मोस्ट ऑकरिंग एलिमेंट विच मीन्स द एलिमेंट विच ऑकर मोर नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स इन एरे If any given two numbers occur same number of time, let's suppose, let's suppose seven has occurred three more time, three times, and six has also occurred three times, right? If two numbers occur for the same number of times, then what they told us? Please consider the num smaller number. Then we will consider the six, and the six will be our final answer, right? So this is a simple question they have given. We will be given one array, and we need to figure out which number has occurred more number of times. and if any two numbers occurs for same number of times like 7 has occurred for three times 6 has also occurred for the three times we have to consider the smallest numbers right so i hope so you understood the meaning of the question now let's try to figure it out some sample test cases to get more clarity on it now what i have done is i have given a sample array right and the size of array is equals to 9 and observe carefully the 7 has occurred for one times 2 has occurred for three times 3 has occurred two times and 1 has occurred two times then which is the number which occurred more number of times which number has occurred more number of times of course two right so our final answer is two right so this is one test sample test cases now let's move on to the second sample test case now observe carefully the seven has occurred two times two has occurred two times one has occurred one two times three has occurred three times and the four has occurred for one time now observe carefully two times two times two times two times there are four numbers which has occurred same number of times then which one to consider what we have told what they have told in the question please consider the smaller number so which one is the smaller which one is the smaller so one is the smaller so I, my final answer will be one now i hope so you understood the clear and exact meaning of the question now let's try to figure it out how we can solve this problem now what we will do is what is our pattern always we will go from brute force always we will go from brute force solution now what does the brute force solution says that if you are at 7 if you are at 7 count how many total number of times 7 has occurred right so i count how many times 7 has occurred one time now you are at 2 i am i am at 2 again i will count from this to this how many times the 2 has occurred how many times 2 has occurred so i came to know that 2 has occurred only for sorry 3 times then i am at 1 and i will count how many times the 1 has occurred i came to know that 1 has occurred 2 times now again i am 2 but i have to ignore this why i have to ignore this because i already considered a 2 over here so no need for this now how many times 3 has occurred 3 has occurred for 2 times okay now again move ahead how many times 3 has occurred from here don't consider this why because we have already considered 3 present over here now go at 4 how many times 4 has occurred 4 has occurred exactly one time now this is done go to the next how many times 2 has occurred no need to consider how many times 1 has occurred no need to consider right so what basically we are doing is why you are using two loops right we are using two loops let me raise this the first one is outer loop which will go from 0 it will go till n and i will do simply i plus plus and inner loop we are using that is from i plus 1 till it is going to n and i am simply doing j plus plus and what i am doing over here i am simply calculating the how many times that number has occurred what i need to do is simple simple i will check if a of i is equal equal to a of j simply i will do count plus plus this is what we are doing right so this is the brute force solution and i'm not going to write this program whole because this is a brute force solution please try to take care of brute force solution by yourself because the goal is not to solve the problem the goal is to build the logic and intuition for you i am not the one who is going to solve everything sometimes you too need to think right so this is this brute force solution now think about the time complexity so this will run for big of n time and worst case this will also run in big of n time so total time complexity would be b of n square now will this will code will be accepted of course no this will give us time limit exceeded so this will be the error we will be getting because our code is not optimal enough right so this is the brute force solution i wrote there are some some modification needs to be done this now what i ignore the, told you right i need to ignore the number which i have already taken care so i left with you how you will write the code for brute force solution do let me know in the comment section so now let's move on to the optimal solution and in this solution we will be learning the new concept called as hashing right so hashing is a basically concept which can be used to count the total number of occurrence of element so what i will do is hashing is nothing but it kind of a data structure which is a kind of a data structure in which insert 
delete and update right in it is can be done in big of one time it they can done in big of one time not every time depend upon which set or hashing you are using in sometimes it can take few big of log n time right but anyhow it is way better than big of n square right so let's try to figure it out how does a hashing basically work so what i will do is i will run a single loop and i will go to each element and i will count the total number of occurrence of that element so as of now i am standing at 7 i am standing at 7 so what i will do is 7 has occurred for one time okay then i came at 2 2 has occurred for one time then i came at 1 okay the one has occurred for one time again i came at 2 already 2 has occurred for one time so again i came across 2 so can i say that now the 2 has occurred for two times okay move ahead now i came across 3 now 3 has occurred for one time again go ahead again 3 has occurred so already 3 has came for one time but again i am standing at 3 so can i say that the count of 3 will become 2 now okay go ahead 4 so 4 will become for one time again go ahead 2 now 2 has already occurred for two times and it came one more time so can i say that my now 2 will come for three times now go at one now one has already occurred for one time now again it will go two times okay now in first go what we did is count the occurrence in one loop what we did is we simply counted the occurrence and in what we are storing so this is basically stored inside the hash table this is basically stored inside the hash table now what i will do is i will scan the hash table i will scan the hash table okay how can i get scan the hash table and what we need to do what the question says that give me the number which has occurred more number of times the number which has occurred more number of times and if two numbers occurs for the same time consider the smaller one okay so what i will do is in order to store the answer i will initialize two variable that is num and what i'm going to do is i'm going to initialize with max value why max value because at the end i wanted to calculate the minimum value and last i am going to have the occurrence initially it is zero okay so i am standing at 7 i will check the occurrence of 7 is greater than the current occurrence you said yes so what i will do is i'll simply have the occurrence equals to 1 and my number is now 7 okay now come at 2 i will check what is occurrence of 2 three times okay which is greater than 1 which is greater than 1 then simply in place of occurrence 1 i have 3 and in place of 7 we got 1 then i came at sorry uh, not 1 it is 2 right it is 2 okay now i came at 1 now what will happen i will check what is occurrence of 1 the one has occurred only for two times so 2 is not greater than 3 so this will not be our answer go to the 3 3 has occurred for two times but anyhow we got a better answer right so we please ignore this then go to the 4 now 4 you have occurred only for one time but we got better that is 3 So at the end, two is our answer because through two has occurred for more number of times. That is the reason why it is our answer, right? Now let's take one more edge case, right? What we will do is I mean, we will consider this this case only, right? Uh, the number which has occurred for same number of times. Now let's suppose what I did is seven has occurred two times, three has occurred for two times, one has occurred for two times, two has occurred for two times, and and let's suppose four has occurred for one time. Now let's try to get what is the answer. what is answer one should be the answer right because if the numbers has same number of occurrence we have to consider the smaller one consider the smaller one right so again what i have is num i have initialized with max value okay i have the occurrence which is currently zero i am at 7 the occurrence of 7 is 2 which is greater than 0 yes so simply update it to what is my what is the number number is nothing but i have 7 okay now i am at 3 Now, how many times three has occurred two times is it two greater than two no but observe carefully two is equal to two two is equal to two and what we need to do is what we have decided the number which is the smaller we need to consider so which one is the smaller seven is smaller or three is smaller of course three is smaller so please consider three now go to this again i will came two is it my two greater than two you said no but both are equal both are equal so i need to consider the smaller one so which one is smaller 3 is smaller or 1 is smaller of course one is smaller so please consider one again i come at 2 now occurrence is also 2 is my 2 greater than 2 you said no but my 2 is equal to 2 now which one is to consider should i consider this 2 or 1 we need a smaller we need a smaller so one is a smaller no need to take okay go to the next occurrence is 4 1 one is greater than 2 no 
सो वी नो नीड टू टेक नाउ आवर नम बेसिकली कंटेन्स वन विच इज आवर फाइनल आंसर बिकॉज टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स विच वन इज अ स्मॉलर वन इज अ स्मॉलर सो विल सिंपली गेट द आंसर एज अ वन राइट सो दिस वॉज द अप्रोच एंड इंट्यूशन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम नो लेट्स ट्राई टू हैव द सुडो कोड फॉर दिस सो वॉट आई विल डू इज सिंपली आई हैव द मैप राइट विच स्टोर द number and its occurrence let's name it as num and what i'll do is i'll simply traverse the array which go from 0 till n and what i'll do is i'll simply count the occurrence of an number right depending upon the language syntax may change depending upon the language syntax may change so what i did basically over here occurrence counted the occurrence so this is what i did now what i need to do is again i'm going to run a loop for map Again, I'm going to run a loop for map. Please, please check your syntax according to the language which you are using. So, what I will do is I will check if it dot second. What does second stores? Now, see this map basically stores the number and its occurrence. So, this is my first and this is my second. So, this is how the map stores the value inside it, right? Now, I will check if the second is greater than the current occurrence. Then, what I need to do is So simply have num is equal to it dot first because this is where you are storing the value right inside the first and here is the occurrence. Otherwise, I have to also update the occurrence as well. Right. Now suppose if this is not the case, this is not the case, then which is remaining? If both are equal, st dot second is equal equal to occurrence. Then I need minimum. Then I need a minimum number. So simply, I will have num equals to Minimum of num and it dot first, whatever the first is there. Simply and finally, I will print the num. I will print the num. Do I need to update the occurrence? No, because it anyhow it is occurring same number of times, right? And here it is only the one thing I need to update because it is occurring more number of times. So this is the pseudo code for this. Again, please depending upon the language, whether it is C plus plus, Java, Python, whatever it may be, your syntax might differ. i am not going to write languages code for all the languages because it is not possible right now let's move on and check c++ and the java code so let's first check the c++ code so what i did is i simply took the array and the size of an array this is an hard coded you have to take the array and the input from the user right so i declared the map first of all i simply counted the total occurrence of an element how many times each element has occurred then what i did is i simply declared two variable that is num which is currently initialized to max why it is initialized to max because i need a minimum number in order to get this minimum number i assigned a max value to it i have the occurrence which is currently zero then i started traversing my map and i checked if the occurrence is greater than the current occurrence i will simply update my num and the occurrence but if the current occurrence and the coming occurrence are equal i need a minimum of them and finally i simply printed the num which contains an answer So this is the C++ code. Now let's move to check Java code. Again the same logic I did in Java. Basically I took the input that is size of an array. I simply took the input for an array. I declared the map. I counted the total occurrence of each element, and I did the same logic what I did in C++. That if it is equal, simply assign it to num, and update my occurrence. And if both are equal, I need a minimum of them. Right. And do note here, I again initialize num as max and occurrence to zero. See, even if you don't do this, it still works because anyhow both are equal, right? And simply, I printed the num. So this is the C++ and the Java code. I hope so. You understood the approach and the intuition behind this problem. Please don't try to solve the problem. Understand the concept and the approach. How you are going to need it to implement the problem, so that in future, if such question comes in, you can talk tackle it easily. So just in case you are new to our channel do subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos till then see you in the next video